Slamp here over at American Science and Surplus, and we know some of you are missing our science demos, so we thought we'd show you one today. So the one we're doing today is called Cloud in a Bottle, and all you need for it is a two liter soda bottle, a small bicycle pump, and some rubbing alcohol. Uh, the reason we're using just a little bit of rubbing alcohol is it evaporates a lot faster than water, so the effect is a little bit nicer. So you do want to use a carbonated beverage bottle. Uh, these are designed to take a little bit of pressure uh, so they can handle it when you pump it up a little bit. You don't need to do too much, just enough to kind of make the uh, outside a little bit firm. So as we're increasing the pressure, we're also increasing the temperature. And that's going to allow more of that rubbing alcohol to evaporate. And when we let the pressure out, the rapid cooling causes condensation. So we get our cloud in a bottle. Let's see if we can get that to go again. This one uh, is called the uh, old egg in a bottle trick, uh, or egg in a jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the egg inside of here. So if we just try to push it like this, the egg is making a nice seal around here and what that means is it's acting like a pump and that means the air in here is getting compressed and it wants to push it right back out but luckily we have a trick up our sleeves that'll let us get the egg all the way in there now this does involve fire so it should be done with adult supervision and you should always make sure to do this in a safe location so what i'm going to do put my safety glasses on i'm just going to light a small piece of newspaper here what this is going to do is it's going to heat the air in the jar and as it heats it's going to expand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that in there after the air has been heated and expands as soon as that flame goes out it starts to cool so what that means is the pressure inside is now less than the pressure outside and it pushes it right in so now we have a, an egg i'll be covered with a little bit of burn newspaper here uh, stuck in a bottle and we want to get it back out so we have a trick for that as well and so what we have here is just a standard small bike pump we're going to use a rubber stopper and what we're going to do is use that same valve trick so the egg is acting as a valve we're going to push some air behind it and then when we let this go the air that we pushed in here is going to push the egg right back out uh, the one we're doing today shows uh, heat and pressure. So this one involves uh, fire. So you definitely want to use adult supervision. And, of course, it's always important when you're doing something like this to wear safety glasses as well. So rather than use a stove or something like that, we're just using one of these small sterno cans. What I have here is a soda can uh, filled with just a small amount of water, about 10 or 20 milliliters. You don't need much, just enough to kind of coat the bottom. Um, I'm using a root beer can because root beer is the best soda. At least in my opinion. So when we heat the air inside the can, if you imagine the air is like a bunch of ping pong balls bouncing around, the hotter it gets, the faster they're moving. And so the actual total number of them in an area that's really hot is going to be less. So the hot air molecules inside the can, there's less of them in there, but they're bouncing faster. So the outside air pushing in and the inside air pushing out are balanced. And so what we're going to do, is we're going to flip this upside down into some ice water and we'll see what happens. All right. It looks like we're starting to boil. Now I'm going to pick it up with tongs. <laughs> it does cool off quite quickly though. And you can see it crushes very quickly. Out. Oh. 